Welcome to the induction video for the Monash Makerspace. At the conclusion of this video, you will have received the local area induction for the Monash Makerspace general area. This includes the kitchen, the light technical area, compactus and other general use areas. You're allowed to enter this space if you have card access. If you do not have card access but need access to the space, please speak to staff. Working hours of the Monash Makerspace are 7am until 12am. 24-7 access can be granted but requires prior approval by staff. Any area that has not been specifically outlined above is restricted access and further inductions or training are required to enter. If you need to access the restricted areas, please speak to staff. Never prop open any doors to this building. This is a major security and safety concern. There is no notification process before entry other than badging to the scanner. No food or drink is allowed to be consumed in any of the work areas. Food must only be consumed in the kitchen unless otherwise specified by staff, such as for special events. Water from bottles can be consumed in walkways outside of working areas, as designated by the painted white lines. Bags must be kept in your allocated team or light technical areas, under the benches or in the compactus. Bags must not be left in walkways or otherwise be a trip hazard. PPE requirements are activity dependent. If you're going to be in any work area, which is all areas other than the kitchen, walkways and the entrance, you must have closed toed shoes on. Safety glasses and earplugs are available if required. Please be aware of your surroundings and other people conducting work in the designated work areas. Safety glasses are located in the blue pockets and earplugs are located in the 3M dispensers. Likewise, if you're conducting work which may require PPE, please notify others in your vicinity. Please familiarise yourself with the emergency procedures diagram and the assembly point, which is the basketball court to the south of the building. All doors in the space are emergency exits. Please leave through the nearest door. First aiders for this space can also be found on the emergency procedures diagram. There are other qualified first aiders on the project teams who are not listed. If you need first aid, speak to a makerspace supervisor or a project team member. First aid kits are located on walls near the compactus, a cabinet in the kitchen, and in the open area near the folding door. Please note, in addition to the standard warning and evacuation alarms, this room is also fitted with lights to draw attention in case of loud work being performed. Yellow means warning, prepare to evacuate. Red means evacuate now. There are no emergency power or gas shutoffs in the general area. Fire extinguishers are distributed around the space. There are no safety showers in this area. Eye wash is available at the southwest entrance between the electrical and fabrication areas. Eye flush saline solution is also available in the first aid kits distributed throughout the space. Skin wash is available at sinks in the kitchen or in the sanding area. There are two spill kits located in the space. Each one is dedicated to a specific spill type. One is for oil and one is for general spills. The oil spill kit is located in the machining area and the general one is located in the composites area. These should only be used for major spills over 5 litres or whatever the maximum in-use quantity is. For all smaller spills, please use Castrol Mop S or paper towel and rags as the cleanup methods. There are no biological hazards in this space. There may be some chemical hazards present in the general area. Be aware that small amounts of glues, solvents, lubricants and the like are allowed to be used in the light technical area and only in the central tables which have tool chests. Be aware of your surroundings when conducting work in the light technical area. If you're using chemicals, ensure that your neighbours are aware. Likewise, if someone near you is using the aforementioned chemicals, ensure that you alert them if there is an incompatibility with the work you are carrying out. There are no poisons or drugs in this lab. Occasionally, high voltage or hazardous equipment will be transported through the space. Please follow all directions given by the relevant personnel who are carrying out the work. Note that power in this building is supplied along overhead guide wires. Please do not pull down on the droppers to disconnect any leads. Always support the outlets with both hands. Pressurised vessels may pass through this building, particularly welding shield gases, compressed air, oxygen and acetylene. Please follow any instructions given by those responsible for them and keep clear unless you have both the relevant training and permission. There is no ionizing radiation, cryogenics or nanotech or materials in this space. All risk assessments are available on SARA. All safe work instructions are posted near the relevant machines and likewise attached to the relevant risk assessment on SARA. 
The assessment numbers can be found on the Safe Work instructions. Otherwise, all Monash Makerspace risk assessments are titled Monash Makerspace Use of Equipment Name and can be found by filtering for this term in SARA. ChemWatch contains all of the material safety data sheets, which can also be accessed locally. Any work that you want to undertake that does not use existing equipment or processes needs to be formally risk assessed. Please speak to Makerspace staff to assist with this process. Certain activities in this space can only be performed by trained personnel. Please speak to Makerspace staff if you want to be trained in the use of certain equipment. There is a range of equipment available for use in the general Makerspace area. Student teams will be allocated portions of the compactus units in Makerspace. The compactus units have standardised models of boxes. Please use these unless otherwise given permission. Boxes need to have lids on them to ensure that they can be stacked safely. Do not overfill and ensure that boxes are not so heavy that they cannot be lifted by two people safely. A rule of thumb is less than 20 kilos. If you need more boxes, please ask for them. Do not write on boxes, please use a label maker. We have one available for use. Store large and heavy loads on the lower shelves. Make sure loads are restrained appropriately. Use lifting aids such as the scissor lift trolley where required. Ensure that you have good lifting technique. Always check compactus bays for occupants before moving any of the units. Ensure compactus locking buttons on both sides of the aisle you plan to enter are pressed and showing their red surround, indicating they're in a locked position. Do this before you enter the compactus aisle. Unlock the compactus by depressing the button again on both sides of the aisle when you exit. If you need to access objects at a height, step platforms are available. Place the step platform as close to the work area as possible. Point the step platform toward the work area if possible. Ensure that all four feet are level and well supported. Always have a spotter for the duration of step platform use. Do not carry objects while climbing the ladder and don't lean over the side of the step platform. Use of the large folding door is allowed only for specifically permitted operations, such as large deliveries, project access, or certain tests. Please speak to the Makerspace staff if you need to use the door. Keep clear of the door when opening or closing, as it will not stop unless the operator actively stops it. Do not take the key away from the door under any circumstances, and do not leave the door open and unattended. There is a wide range of trolleys available, including a pallet jack and stacker, a scissor lift, a cage trolley, and a sheet transport trolley. If you have never used a particular trolley, please speak to Makerspace staff to learn the correct operation. Trolleys are for transport only and must never be used for storage. Always return trolleys to their designated storage areas after use. Compressed air outlets and tools are available all around the Makerspace. Notify all people within a five meter radius before use. For reference, the grey JBS cabinets are one and a half metres long and the workbenches are two metres long. Please err on the safe side of this radius. Everyone that remains within a five metre radius must wear safety glasses. Never use compressed air against bodies or clothing. There are isolation valves at the regulators in case of a regulator failure. Kitchen facilities are available for all to use. There are two refrigerators. Please do not leave food to spoil. Anything that sits in there for more than a week will be binned. Four microwaves are also available for use, and tea and coffee can be prepared using the zip tap. There are cupboards allocated to teams for storage of small quantities of long-life food, such as tea, coffee, and sugar. Each team is responsible for inducting people into their own area. Please do not go into other team areas without receiving an induction from them. Teams are also responsible for keeping their areas clean and tidy, and sustained mess will not be tolerated. Valuables should not be left unattended or unsecured. The light technical area is for light manufacturing, assembly and laptop work. Please note that generator users and non-resident teams have priority access to this area. If capacity is exceeded, members from resident student teams should cease their work to allow additional space for non-resident users. This space is the first of its kind at this scale, which means that some of the initial rules and procedures may need to change to further align with user expectations of the space. We will ensure that these changes are clearly communicated to you as they happen. Please feel free to approach staff with questions or uncertainties. Our preference is to teach you and improve the space so that you can benefit from it. We hope you enjoyed this video and look forward to seeing you here soon.